Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is check out in your manual guys and make sure you get the right configuration for your DDR4 memory. So if you go to the system memory, depending on how many units of memory you got, there is a certain configuration you gotta follow to get the proper performance out of the out of your memory. And as you can see here, there is a A1, A2, B1, B2, and so on. So in this scenario that we got here, I got four the DDR4 memories. So we gotta install it in socket A1, B1, D1, and C1. So we have to make sure we follow up this uh, configuration. This way we're gonna get the maximum performance and there's not gonna be issues with any performance loss. All right, let's do this. All right, so there we go. We got a DDR4 memory here. And as you can see, it has a little notch here. It's not in the middle. It's a little bit offset from the middle. So you gotta make sure when you put this, it's gonna make it easy for you to put it in place in the right position. So as you can see here, there is a little grooves where this card's gotta go. It's one right here, one right here. So you have to make sure you put it in like this. And then you just gotta settle it down. And to make sure it locks properly, you gotta press evenly on both, both sides, but I would recommend you press a little bit harder on this side and make sure this this side locks because a lot of time if you press on this side a little bit it will lock on this side but this side's not going to be all the way in and then your memory is going to be crooked and it's not going to be recognized by your motherboard so you have to make sure this side locks in as well so to do that I prefer just to click more on the on this side make sure it clicks and there you go so now you, you have to just make sure these both of these sides click and then it's going to be even and this way you have to do all four of them or how many you got if you got eight of them one two yep done and so on and in this one this memory is not going the, like this it's got to go like this because they have the pattern that's as you can see here you might not have these tubes here in the way, so it will be a lot easier. But yeah, so this is it guys. This is how you get this memory installed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comment section below. Also, let me know if you guys, how much memory do you usually install in your computer? And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other videos. And stay safe, I'll see you in the next video. Bueno.